Hi my loves, so today I am doing a video on these microdermabrasion crystals from Need Crystals. I featured these in my recent skincare routine which I will link down below if you guys have not watched it yet but so many of you guys were super excited about this product and asked me a bunch of questions. I got a bunch of messages from you guys and stuff about these and I am absolutely obsessed with these so I figured just to answer all of your questions I would just make a full video on how I use them. Basically you use these crystals to make your own exfoliation or microdermabrasion scrub at home home that's what I always do and I just literally love these so I figured I would just make a video tutorial super quick to show you guys how I actually create my own exfoliator or microdermabrasion scrub at home using these so I can answer all of your questions in one video so basically what these actually are is they are white aluminum oxide crystals so they're tiny 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 little crystals I'll show you guys they actually kind of look similar to like sand if you guys can see but they are super super tiny little tiny tiny crystals and then basically what you do with these is you take these tiny crystals and you put them in your favorite either lotion body wash or face wash and then you can create your own exfoliator product or microdermabrasion product with these using whichever type of lotion or face wash that you want because for me a lot of times I had issues with exfoliators a lot of them were way too rough on my skin and I don't even have super super sensitive skin but I had a lot of issues with exfoliators because I think that the base of the product wasn't really working with my skin so I always kind of struggled to find them that was great but with these I can use my face wash that I know works amazing and my body wash that I know works amazing and doesn't have any issues with my body and just add in these little crystals to make my own microdermabrasion scrub so that I don't have to worry about using some rough products on my face or body that really isn't working. So I'm going to show you I actually use these to both exfoliate my face and also my body as well because before I do my self tan application every week I do completely exfoliate my body so I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Even if you don't self tan it's super important to exfoliate your body about once a week or so just to get all that dead skin off so you can have your skin looking super fresh and soft and have that new layer of skin. And I exfoliate my face about twice a week or so. Sometimes I get lazy and only do it once a week, but I do try and do it twice a week just so I can really make sure I have that nice fresh face and I don't have dead skin or dry skin or anything kind of coming off on my face because I do have pretty dry skin. So for me, it's super important that I am exfoliating off that excess dry skin or I'm going to look super patchy and weird. Because um, a lot of you guys, when I say that I have dry skin are like, wow, you don't even look like you have dry skin or dry spots. And it's honestly because I do exfoliate and I use these microdermabrasion crystals and I'm getting all of any dry spots or dryness off of my face before it kind of gets patchy and gross. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love these. If you guys are interested to see how I go ahead and make the different scrubs, then please just keep watching. And I'll have a link down below to where you guys can get these and everything like that. It's not an affiliate link. I'm not making any money off the link. Just sharing with you guys a product that I absolutely do love. Okay, so to make the facial scrub, you're going to need a bowl and then you're also going to need a spoon. A small bowl works best. This was just the smallest bowl that I did have. Then you're obviously going to need the microdermabrasion crystals. Like I said, there will be a link in the bottom bar to where I got these. And then you're going to need your favorite face wash or body wash. So for now, we're going to make the face lotion. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my face wash into the bowl about the same amount that I would normally use on my face and then I'm using about half a teaspoon of the microdermabrasion crystals and just adding that to the face wash and then just mixing it around with my spoon. It's super super easy to mix them in. Um, it doesn't take long at all. I'm just mixing it up for maybe 30 seconds. Then you're just going to go ahead, take it out of the bowl and apply it to your face just as you would any normal facial cream or exfoliator product. And you actually don't even have to use a face wash to do this. You can also use a face lotion if that's something that you would rather use. Now on to the body scrub. Now I'm just using a body wash. This one is from Dove, one of my favorites. So I'm using a generous amount and then I'm putting in about two tablespoons worth of the microdermabrasion crystals. What you want to do is basically use the method of one to ten. So for ten parts of the body wash, you're going to want one part of the microdermabrasion crystals. So I I kind of just eyeball it when I do it. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mix that around again using my spoon. The white balance on my camera like freaked out when I went to film this clip so I do apologize for how yellow it is but I'm just going to go ahead and spoon out some of the scrub and just go ahead and apply it to my body in circular motions. I'm just doing my arm right now. Obviously you would normally do this in the shower and then you just shower it off after um, but for purposes of the video I'm not in the shower while doing it. But yeah that is really all there is to it. 
So yeah, that is how I create my own exfoliating or microdermabrasion scrubs at home. I hope this video helped you guys and addressed all of your questions. If you have any other questions or just anything that you would like to say, please be sure to leave it in the comments box. I do do my absolute best to get back to every single one of you that does leave a comment. And yeah, I hope this video did help you guys. If it did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It is completely free and it helps a ton and it would mean so, so much to me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.